So like when the freshmen arrive here at Williamson, I don't expect them to know anything, and most of them don't. But one of the first things that the students will, learn, will make is a drill drift, okay? And what this drill drift is, it knocks out a sleeve out of a drill press, okay? You'll, this will go through here, and then you'll tap on this, and it'll knock the drill out of the drill press, okay? And a lot of this is layout. Everything's done with the hand tools. Everything's done with a file, hacksaw, okay? Then they'll move, we'll hold them off on the drill in the hole. They'll move on to the T-slot cleaner, okay? They'll lay everything out. I'm not sure if you can see the layout lines here, but they'll put dicom on there, and they'll use their steel ruler, and they'll scribe lines, and then they'll make, file everything. This is all done with a file, okay? And they'll do their base plate. They'll lay everything out again and everything's done with a file, they'll file everything out. When they start to get really good at it, this is freshman first half, they'll do this octagon bolt circle. They'll lay it all out, and then by that time, we have enough theory in that we can move to the machine tool itself, the drill press, and they'll lay it out and they'll start drilling their holes, okay? Then as the, uh, when they're done, first semester is done, we come back in the spring we, uh, for one of the first things they'll make is a step shaft. We'll teach them how to turn ODs. And then when they get that perfected, uh, they'll also learn how to cut right and left-handed threads. This is an, also another project. They'll learn how to do knurls, threading again. They'll cut some ODs. And we teach them how to use an indexer to mill these flats. Towards the end of the year, spring, they move over into the, the milling department and they'll learn how to machine this C-clamp in the milling department. Okay. Then when the students come back junior year, uh, we teach grinding to them. Okay. One of their first projects they'll make is these parallels. These parallels are made out of A2. We'll teach them how to heat treat. Uh, they'll already know how to mill it up and put the holes in, but the big take from here is they'll go into the grind area. We'll show them how to grind this to plus or minus five tenths, okay? And we'd like for them to have really nice finishes, okay? So surface grinding is considered a finishing operation. So finishes have to look good. They'll make these parallel clamps at the junior year. They'll make two of these. So there's lathe involved, there's lathe work involved, and there's mill work involved. And they'll make the, they'll do the mill work, they'll make this square part, they'll make it out of this round part. So that teaches them all the machining aspects on the mill. Okay, one of the tougher projects that's here, and it usually happens in the back half, is a tap wrench. The students will make a tap wrench. And they'll make it out of this big chunk of steel. Okay, so that's, in my opinion, this was the hardest project here at Williamson when I came to Williamson. And this is what a tap wrench is. Okay, what is a tap wrench, Michelle? Tap wrench is you use that to put threads. You can use a tap and then this wrench allows you, once you have the right hole drilled in there, allows you to produce threads into a part, okay? Senior year, we move on to senior year. The capstone project for the senior year is they'll make a vise like this here, okay? There's a multitude of things going on here. We got knurls. We got round pieces, we got square pieces. The round pieces are done on the lathe section. Uh, the, the square pieces are done on the, mill, on the milling machines. We got surface grinding involved here. So these jaws are hardened A2. Uh, the students will heat treat them. They'll draw them back and they'll go into the grinding area and they'll grind these. Uh, a lot of the guys will use these vices the rest of their life. Uh, at the senior level, they have metallurgy projects, tool design projects, and they'll have CNC projects. 
Uh, this is a, a really good example. This is a cube award that we make, and this was done on the Haas CNC mill. So that's a pretty neat guy there. And it's made out of not quite this piece of, piece of aluminum, but it's made out of a piece of a, aluminum like this. And we also make what's called the Roan Award. It's a gear, and these are some of the gears that uh, we're presently machining using the wire EDM machine. Uh, just to jump back a little bit, uh, the guys will use the sync EDM machine to EDM this slot. Okay. Now, is that the best and proper way to do it out in industry? Probably not. But here at the school, it gets the students on the equipment. So that's the slot. And then again, I don't know if you can see, but if you take this apart, you can see there's hardened jaws. These are hardened jaws that also go in this, this piece right here, okay? 